all right guys i'm back today with another video of course before i get started with all the details please make sure to turn those notifications on so you don't miss out on any of my videos and also if you are watching and you aren't subscribed like why just hit the subscribe button it is free now this unit today is going to be brought to you by the company evil wigs it has been a while since i did an evil wigs video so i'm happy to be back doing one for you guys and of course i'm just showing you all of the goodies that come in your box this one that i am reviewing today is their 13 by 6 lace front wig um this is in the length 20 inches it is a natural black color i do have the silky texture um it is 150 percent in density and they also have that new hd transparent lace and you do get a pre plucked hairline and then the cap size that i have is average it does come with your two combs on the side a comb in the middle a comb in the back and your adjustable strap and it also comes with that removable elastic band which i am happy that most companies are starting to do this just because i feel like most people are scared to sew on their own elastic bands and this gives you the option to either put it on or take it off especially if you are uncomfortable with the way that it is fitting and it also gives you some extra security especially if you do not want to have to rock any type of adhesive you can go glueless so i'm just working on cutting off the lace on the sides it did come a little bit over my ear now like i stated this is an average cap size i should have asked for a petite they do have average petite and large on the website because this average was just a little bit big on me so i am gonna have to um, use some adhesive just to make sure that this is laid completely down now of course if i wanted to opt out of using adhesive i would just put on my wig grip and just make sure the straps are tightened all the way in the back So for today, I will be using my yellow bottle of Got To Be Gel, and I'm just making sure that everything is dried down really well using my blow dryer going all the way across. Like I stated in previous videos, I'm not a glue person. I choose not to really use it unless I know that I'm going to be wearing it for a very long period of time. And this just works better for me because it dries down and it's just easy to take off. Now, right here, you're just seeing me comb over the area that I spray because I did spray on top of the lace. So when I was combing out where it has started to dry down on the hair, it started to flake up a little bit. That is definitely an easy fix. I just went a little bit too, you know, heavy with the free spray in that one area. Just to let you guys know, I did not wash this unit. This unit already pretty much comes customized. The only thing that I did was go in the front with my lace tint. I used the one from Taylor Crowns in the color caramel and I sprayed it right in front of the hairline because sometimes you guys know with this transparent HD lace, it does not match everyone's skin tone. So for me, it was just a tad bit lighter. So I had to go in and just tint it just a little bit so that it can blend in flawlessly. Now you can definitely wear this straight out of the package and put some of your powder or foundation on it and you should be good to go and just style it to your liking. So well, after I am satisfied with how the front of the hairline is laid, I'm just going to take my brush and then brush through the hair and make sure I get any type of shedding out. I did get some shedding with this unit once I combed it all out from cutting the lace on the side. Now I'm just going to decide exactly where I want my part to be. I think I've been rocking some middle parts lately, so I'm going to try to come through and do a nice sleek side part. I've been getting tons of requests on doing more straight units you guys know i'm not a big fan of the silky straight units but i am making sure that i fulfill these requests that i have been getting so now i'm just taking the care care wax stick and i'm running over the top of the unit and also very close to the front of the hairline because i want to make sure that everything is laid down and really flat when it comes to my straight units i like to make sure that there is no humpage at the top so it did take me a little while to make sure that it was laid all down of course you guys already know if you do not want to follow all of these steps you can easily do this on your mannequin head and just take some water and some foam lotion and set it and let it air dry overnight and then you can just put it on your head and 
kind of just go. So it is easier to style this on your mannequin. That's usually how I like to do it for the wigs that I wear throughout the week. So after I am done straightening the top out, I will be taking my Kaposi flat iron. Of course, you guys already know all of the items that I use. I try to put them down in the description area. Of course, if you can't find anything or I'm missing out on something, then make sure to hit me up and I will try to find an affordable link for you guys. I'm just taking my Kaposi flat iron and then just running over pieces of the hair, especially in the front. And also I will be focusing on the ends of the hair. Now with this flat iron, I try not to go too high on it when it comes to straightening out the silky straight units, just because I don't want it to come out looking thin and stringy. And I also don't like to go too high up because I want to have just a little bit of texture left to it. So now that I am done with it, I'm just seeing exactly how I want to wear it. And I pushed it behind my ears because I think I'm just going to do like a little sideburn on that one area and then just combing over the front. Once I see that I do want to do the sideburn, I'm just going to cut it short a little bit because I do plan on wearing this behind my ear. And then I will be taking a little bit of my got to be gel just for that one piece and then just swooping it over using my edge brush. I am done with that. I'm just taking my Garnier Fructis Sleek and Shine Serum. I did not put a lot in my hands, but this hair definitely needed a little bit of serum. This is going to help keep the unit nice and sleek and also help with any type of freeziness and flyaways because I did notice a little bit of freeziness in this unit. After I am done with that, I'm going to spray a little bit of the Got To Be Free spray in between the rat tail comb and just running over the top so that those flyaways do lay down. Now I'm just gonna put a little bit of the Ruby Kisses 3D Contour Creator Powder Palette. This is in the color light medium and I'm just going to run it across the hairline and put a little bit into the parting space. Definitely helped knock out some of that shine in the front of the hairline and also made the parting space look a little bit better. Now you guys know what I say about the HD Transparent Thin Swiss Lace. You wanna be very careful with it because you don't want to rip it. So you wanna handle it with care. This is not one of those units you just wanna to toss around and just be rough with. You want your unit to last as long as it is going to so this is what the unit looks like at the top and then of course i'm just showing you guys the hair texture the hair on this unit is very soft and one thing i did say is that i noticed some freeziness but once i put the garnier fruity sleek and shine serum in it it definitely helped out as far as shedding and tangling go with the unit i got very minimal shedding however i did receive some tangling especially in the nape area now also with this unit, the density on this is very nice for it to be 150% in density. I feel like this is good, especially for everyday wear. Also get this unit in the length 26 inches. And of course, if you like some super thick hair, you can get it up to 250% in density. Now also this unit does come in the fake scalp option. Of course, that is going to cost you some extra money and a couple more days to ship out. Of course, with the hairline, the company did a very good job because I didn't have to go in and do any extra customizations to the hairline. Like I said, the only thing I did was add a little bit of my Taylor Crowns tint just to make it blend in a little bit more. And I could have actually sprayed a little bit more on it just to make it more perfect. Now, the knots are very small and easy to conceal. And like I said, the lace was very easy for me to melt down you know if you are filling this straight hair unit if you are i'll make sure to leave all the details down below don't forget to subscribe to my channel guys turn your notifications on share and like this video and i will see you guys next time bye guys